Hello everybody, this is Will, or HexParrot, creator of MineOS. Today's video is about installing MineOS atop an existing turnkey appliance. Uh, turnkey has created a number of pre-made appliances to serve many different purposes, such as uh, WordPress installed by default or LAMP server. Uh, you can choose any turnkey appliance that you choose, and then you can go ahead and install MineOS and give yourself a brand new ISO using these steps. All right. The first thing I did here is I went ahead and I made an install of Turnkey Linux Core. Now you don't have to use Core again. You can use any of the different appliances already available. In this case you'll preferably want to use one of the more recent Wheezy based Debian images. All right. So let's go ahead and open up PuTTY to this IP address that we see at the very beginning. Now you're going to want to use Turnkey for making this ISO because we're actually using a Turnkey Linux utility called TKL Patch in order to accomplish it. All right. So step one is we're going to update apt get repositories. Following that, we're going to install the TKL Patch utility as well as ensure Git is installed, which it normally should be installed by default on most appliances. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to clone the TKL patch uh, template for MineOS. This is uh, including all the different customizations that MineOS would want to have on a brand new installation medium. And then after that, we'll go ahead and download the ISO for the, for the turnkey appliance. Keep in mind, you don't necessarily have to download it through the through the um, command prompt. You can actually do so also using SSH. So I'm going to go ahead and clone in the TKL patch repository right here. Now I went ahead to SourceForge and I found the URL already. So I'm going to download the turnkey.iso with this URL. Now make sure that when you go to SourceForge, you aren't taking the uh, download link that goes to the countdown, that you make sure you actually get the actual ISO link. And you'll notice that you have the right one when it shows that there's a large download ahead, in this case 146 megabytes for the core, and it will be incrementally larger depending on what other appliances you use because of the number of different packages already pre-installed. All right, once this thing is completed downloading. We'll be able to apply the patch to the ISO. It will give us a brand new ISO which we can install right to a VM or to bare metal. And then let's see here. Lastly, let's just wait for this to finish downloading. Now keep in mind this is also the way that I've been making the MineOS turnkey ISOs in the past. So you should be able to continue, uh, you should be able to use my ISOs that I'm going to be distributing or you can be making your own appliances. They'll always be up to date because Git is always going to keep them uh, up to date with the update process in the wiki. Alright, so TKL patch, turnkey ISO, MineOS TKL patch. It's going to extract the CD ISO rather. It's going to install all the different packages I have instructed to which you'd see from the GitHub repository page and then once it's done it's going to give us turnkey-patched.iso. Since this step actually takes a little bit of time I'm going to go ahead and pause it and then I'll return it once we're at the end. All right, a few minutes later, we are left here where it's actually creating the final ISO to be ins to be used to install MineOS and the appliance onto your new machine. As you can see, it's giving you a file called turnkey-patch.iso, which you can now move off of this machine using your favorite uh, SFTP client, such as WinSFTP or FileZilla. Uh, that can be burned directly to a DVD or... CD-ROM and installed on a new machine. And that's about it for that. Uh, 
If you have any other questions, feel free to make sure that you send me an email or leave a comment in the YouTube video. Other than that, I'll see you next time.